Okay, when X-Plane first comes up, go into location, select global airport, go ahead and select an airport near you so you can recognize it. So I'm going to use CXP since I know, since that's my main runway, runway 27. So here we are. Now we're at the airport. We're at the airport. And the first thing we want to do is get these. Uh, get rid of the sound so we can focus here. So we go to sound. We get rid of uh, uh, Bitch and Betty, the background radio chatter, verbal ATC. Okay, so now we've just got the uh, the sound of the jet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our settings, joystick keys and equipment. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the stick and I'm rolling it side to side. So we can see there, we can see our little marker here going side to side. And we know that's not the throttle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. And we're going to go into our, we're going to assign that to the roll. So now what we've done is we've got our roll going side to side as we move our stick side to side. Now we're going to move our stick fore and aft. We can see that that is the, that is this one here. So this is going to be our pitch. Okay, we can see we move that fore and aft. And it essentially centers in there. Okay. So now we've got our pitch properly assigned. We've got our roll properly assigned. Okay, now we need to, now we'll move our rudder pedals from side to side. Okay. We can see where the, see that's showing right up here. Now since that hasn't been assigned, we're going to go in here and assign our yaw. Now we move that back and forth. Now we've got our yaw, which is our rudder control. We've got our roll, pitch, and yaw. Just by moving the control and assigning proper attribute. Now I'm going to use the brakes. This is my right brake. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to go right toe brake. Okay. I'm going to go left toe brake. And we go up here, left toe brake. And we got that. So now we've got a right toe brake, left toe brake. We got our yaw by pushing our rudder pedals. We got our roll with a stick. We got our pitch. Now, the other thing we need is our throttle. So here's our throttle. I'm moving that throttle. So there we go. So now we've got our throttle by moving our control on our joystick here, or our throttle control. So now we've got everything. Now we're going to go to our buttons. We can see up at the top left here, we hit our front button. The way it's labeled on the joystick is this is button one, but it shows the button zero, one, two, Three. So all when you hit a button on your joystick, it registers up here, and we're going to make our front button here view forward. This is probably the, the 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 best way to go because when you hit that button, you're looking forward. Now, what I like to do for the number one button here, we're going to make that to toggle the 3D cockpit. So this is your second uh, view that's very helpful. So now we can see with our number one button, view forward. Our second button, which is assigned up here, is toggle 3D cockpit. Now I'm going to go to our button on the right here. And what I'm going to do is I really like this um, transparent panel here. So we're going to assign that for the transparent panel. And then we're going to, so now we've got number one, our front button is our forward view. Our other, our second button here toggles our 3D cockpit. Our right button is our transparent panel. 
Then we're going to go to our other button here, which is the, this is a sign, sign at 163. They call it button four. And here we're going to go with chase. This is where we can look outside the airplane. It's a very, very good way to um, go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our, our uh, the hat or the pan switch. And, and we're going to move that straight up. And that's going to be tilt up. We're going to move it to the left. And we want to be that pan left. Move it to the right. We want that to be pan right. Move it down. We want that to be tilt down. OK, so here we go. Let's see what we got. So now we're looking at our straightforward view. We're hitting our 3D view. We're back to our first button. Look, looking straight forward. We're going to hit our chase. Okay. And we're going to pan to the right. We're going to pan up with the pan switch. Pan down. Pan to the left. And we can also look at our transparent panel. Back to our 3D. Back to our straight ahead. And he so here we've got all of our basic views. And of course from here we can 2D we can pan around at 45 degree angles. And from the 3D it actually pans as we go. Nice and slow pan. Back to our 3D view. Back to our front view. So here we've got pretty much all of our views covered. Okay, now that we've got our joystick and buttons set up, uh, what we, what we want to do now is we can see how the the uh, default screen size here we want to make it a lot bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to settings, we're going to go up to rendering options, default monitor settings. Now, run full screen at right. What we want to do here is now we're going to go in and select our monitor settings. Now I'm going to select this to 1440 by 960. Well, we don't have that. So we're going to go with the closest here of 14 by 10. OK. Only applies if the full screen button is checked. So we're going to go run full screen resolution at right. This gives you full screen for whatever resolution you choose. And there we go, a nice full screen, so it fills the screen, and not just a part of the screen. And there we go, our initial setup for X-Plane. This is a good starting point.